Hello and welcome to uh, Autodesk Fusion 360. So in this video we're going to be taking a look at what are some of the uh, common interfaces within Fusion 360 just to be aware of and some of the things within the introduction to engineering design curriculum that you will probably be which areas you'll probably be more familiar with. So one thing that we'll take a look at is that uh, kind of the layout of Fusion 360. So the top part here we have our quick access toolbar with, which has our file menu which has some different options for creating new drawings, new files, uh, new design files, new templates, and things of that nature. We have our save button. We have our undo and redo buttons, very similar like we do in a Microsoft Word. At the top here we have our tab, which indicates uh, that we're, anytime you start out in Fusion 360, you're on an untitled design file. So if you hit the new design, you'll hit the plus sign, you'll see now you have two tabs that are available. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of one. And uh, you have some different other options, extensions, job status, you'll see job status will periodically, Fusion will update, and you'll see a little number one enclosed in a circle with that. And so that requires you to update Fusion 360 to the newest version. So every time the Fusion team puts out an update, they will go through and push out that to out onto the server for you to download. Uh, here is our help menu. So the help menu allows you to go through and be able to see a lot of the different options that uh, you have as well as product documentation and then here you have your own profile which allows you to have some of your preferences and things like that to be noted and we can cover those in kind of a, a future video. So here we end up having um, also we have the data panel so it looks almost like the uh, grid kind of icon from Google Drive as well. So we're from Google products. And so here, this is your data panel, which is where everything is going to be stored. So here you have different projects. You'll see I have a few different ones listed here. And uh, in a future video, we're gonna show you how to kind of clean up that data panel and everything as well. So, but anytime you, and as well as setting up new projects and things like that. Okay, here you have the different environments within Fusion 360. If you click the drop down, your, your uh, first environment you start off with is going to be design. And throughout IED, we will work a little bit in generative design. You'll be working in render a little bit, animation, simulation, maybe not so much, or manufacture. So those two are going to end up being in probably future PLTW courses. And then you'll end up having drawings. So, and those will be the, the different design spaces that or the different workspaces, we should say, that uh, should go through and show up as well. Within here, we have a few different tabs or groupings. So right now, we're stuck on solid modeling. Uh, if we go and switch, we can have surface, we have the sheet metal environment, and then we have tools. So these are a few different options, so very cleaned up. At the bottom of each one of these, you'll have, so you'll have the solid tab, uh, it's kind of how I would use it a little bit, or the solid grouping, and then you'd end up having a panel. So the panel does ha have a little few more options that are what, than what's shown up in the ribbon. So this is what's known as the ribbon quite a bit, so with all of our different options. So the create panel is where you're going to be creating different things, so you'll see the different options like extrude and loft and sweep and things of that nature. You have the modify panel. So again, by clicking on the, the wording or where the little drop down arrow kind of is indicated, you can go through and do that. You're going to notice that maybe I have a few different uh, icons in there that are different from the default Fusion 360. And I'll show you in a future video on how to kind of customize this, work, customize this workspace. So based upon some of the very similar um, you know, icons that you want to have that you use periodically. But here you have, again, looking just down the row here, you see there's a symbol tab, construct, inspect, insert, and select. So some of these uh, you can go through and see that some may have more options than others. And uh, throughout, you know, the course of the uh, IED class, you'll end up going through and, and seeing what that's about. Okay, here on the left side you have the browser. Browser is going to hold all of our model history as we go and create different models and try to um, add things and maybe even show different changes to models as we make them and have some different document settings and things of that nature. Okay, here on the right side is the view cube. So we're always in top front right side isometric orientation as our home position. And then there's a little drop down arrow where you can go through and change some of the appearances or even change, you know, 
maybe the rotation of which, you know, how your the orientation of your object when you build it. So, and again, that kind of stuff we'll cover in future videos. Right now we're just kind of getting a feel. Down here at the bottom is your navigation toolbar. And the navigation toolbar is going to allow you to do some things like have an orbit. You can pan so to be able to move around your screen. So when we actually have a model on there, we'll be able to see that, that a little bit better in, in um, future videos. Here you got different zoom options as well as changing some of the visual styles and different displays as well as setting up grids if we want to go through and have a snap to grid scenario set up and then also you can even show multiple views have multiple tiles if you have multiple files open at one time. The other, the other thing that we have down here in the bottom left corner is going to be a playback so as you build models you'll be able to go back and play through the different steps that were taken to build that model and you'll be able to see that sequentially uh, as you go through. You also have the option to add comments into your browser bar so down here at the bottom. All right, so that's really kind of an overview of what Fusion 360 looks like. Again, in future videos, we'll take a look at some of the things like the, the data panel, customizing the ribbon, and, um, you know, even with some of the projects that we'll be covering in the future, we'll see some of those things.